For more than 20 years, CTV has captured the moments that matter in our community. From our studios in St. Clair, you're watching Focus with Paul Dingaman. Welcome aboard is the name of the show today. Hello there, Paul Dingaman here, and we are with the two directors, the musical director and the director par excellence of the brand new Titanic the Musical, which opens this weekend in beautiful Marine City at the Riverbank Theater. Joining us, Edmund Reynolds. Nice to see you. Welcome back to Focus Set, sir. Nice to see you. You too. And the world famous Paul, you know the man, Decker, from, uh, Marie, from the East China School District, now yes, the music sir. director of the Titanic the Musical. Welcome to, to both of you. Thank you. Thank That's you. gotta be exciting. You, you uh, when we're recording, it's a Thursday, you're gonna have a dress rehearsal tonight, mm -hmm. and then the play opens from now through June, or May, May 20th. May 20th. Yep. Talk to me about the play. Oh, mm -hmm. you guys. Are, well. You're gonna do one of these interviews, do you like apple pie or cherry pie? Yes. <laughs> well, it's a play that I've, liked for a very long time. I saw the original production of the North American tour at the Wharton Center in East Lansing okay. like in 1999. And then I've seen some various local productions uh, at like the Croswell Opera House and Adrian and Stagecrafters Royal Oak. And, and then last fall we saw a really nice production at Avon Players in Troy? Rochester. Rochester. But it was the ensemble version, which is a smaller cast with a lot of people doubling and tripling in, in parts. The original cast in New York, on Broadway was like 37, 40 people. And I've always loved it, always wanted to do it, but just didn't seem accessible because it's such a huge play, huge sets, huge pits. And this was like, this would work in Marine City at yeah, the Riverbank. the Riverbank. But you do have a big cast. 22. 22. 22 people. That's, that's a lot of people move around a stage. It is, but uh, they move. <laughs> and, uh, Does and that the, include the musical group? Uh, well, the pit, no, it doesn't. The pit is, uh, there's five of us. Um, it's um, been scaled down to um, sound what you would have had in, on the Titanic. They had, they had eight musicians on the, the, the Titanic. They had a, a quintet and a trio. And so we have five. Um, Violin, cello, bass, keyboard, and percussion. Wow. It's, it's, it's really neat. The score is beautiful. Um, is it a lot different than the, than the movie? Yes. Yes? No, maybe. no Jack and Rose. And okay. they are, it's based on real people. And it, it follows the story of the, the, the class structure. Very British in that terms of, of the first class who want to maintain their privilege and um, second class who um, strive for a leisure type of life similar to the first and then the third class who just want to immigrate to America mm -hmm. for a better life. So you have that story. Um, very interesting people. But the biggest thing, two biggest things I think is that the score is just beautiful. The book is solid and our cast is incredible. Looking forward to seeing it. Uh, how many numbers are in it? Uh, there's probably about 30. 30 numbers? Yeah. Well, wow. There, there's a lot of underscoring during dialogue. Seems like we're, we, we play a lot. Okay. You turn the page and you just play again. Just keep playing. Two just keep finishes playing. and you turn the page and you, you play some more. So. And, and with the doubling and tripling of characters, somebody might be a third class passenger. They come back a couple minutes later as a first class. And it's not like we're trying to hide. I think it's kind of a statement on how random class systems were mm -hmm. and social stratification. If you were born into wealth, you had an easier life than if you weren't. And, uh, but then at the end, it doesn't matter. Right. It that's didn't matter. Same. That's right. When it went down. You're all the same. Well, it did matter if you're first class. You, your chances you of getting on a lifeboat were better, mm -hmm. but still. If you were male, mm -mm. Yeah, women and children first. Okay, let's talk about performances. You're, you've, uh, uh, the Riverbank has added some uh, nights, I think, or weeks or days or something. Talk to me about that. Well, the first weekend we have Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The second weekend it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and the Sundays are matinees. And then the, 
Um, the third final weekend we have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then a Sunday matinee. So wow, total, that's a lot 12, of perform yeah, 12, 12 performances. That's yeah. wonderful. Mm -hmm. And it, it's probably great for the actors and actresses too because uh, in many cases, uh, even like in the high schools, they, they, you only run for the weekend and you've rehearsed and rehearsed and rehearsed. Now this, at least you get a chance to, to perform 12 times. So that, mm -hmm. that's got to be fun too. Yes. Yeah. Um, so the, the, uh, uh, the music's great. The, the riverbank, uh, the thing I, wanted to, I was trying to get to is this is also the opening uh, grand uh, ribbon cutting for the Inn on the Water Street this weekend. Okay. And uh, there'll be a lot of celebration uh, for the Vertons and uh, their efforts in Marine City and, and what they've done, some great things they've accomplished over the Absolutely. three or four years that they've been here. And all the How many plays have you been involved with, Ed? This is our fifth play that we've... You two have been together for yep. five plays? Yep, and I've, this is the twelfth show that I've been involved in. There. So they're, they're doing something right to keep people keep, keep like you happy and keep you guys coming back. So. You know, they're, it's, bode well. it's a, it's a well-run organization, but they're nice people too. That's they the bottom line. Easy. Yeah. Okay. And it's neat too with the Marine City connection. I mean, there's a memorial there for the 66 yep. or 69 passengers that were headed to Michigan. Yep. And uh, the fact that the um, builder's model is in the Mariner yep. Theater and that local artist who painted the wreckage of the Titanic. I mean, there's a, Mr. there's Clary. a, yeah. Jim Clary. Yeah. yeah. And, but there's an affinity and a connection here, and I think that's important. We did an interview with uh, Maggie Mykoff uh, a couple of weeks ago in reference to that uh, uh, plaque that's going to be across the street and how they're going to go uh, from the plaque, I think, to, to eat something and then come and see the play. Oh. And uh, so yep, I saw that. That group is going to uh, uh, really enjoy their day in Marine City. Yeah. Well, ticket sales are picking up, but still, I encourage everyone. It's not, this show hasn't done a whole lot, and, um, the, uh, and, and an opportunity to see it shouldn't be missed. And, and finally, I do want to say about to my cast, anybody I've ever known who's been involved in this Titanic, uh, the musical, it's had a real effect on them, and it's, there's been a, a sense of responsibility hmm. depicting these real people, hmm. and I've seen it in, in our cast. Isn't that wonderful? It is. That's wonderful. It is. They are, they are, they are wonderful. Great, great cast, very talented. They make me tear up every night. Yeah. Oh, oh, Paul Decker. At least once, yeah. I'll bring some Kleenex. <laughs> Edmund, nice Thanks, to Paul. You nice to see you, you too. Uh, it's the Titanic, and it's at the Riverbank Theater now through uh, the 20th of May, and there's still some tickets available. We'll make sure you get them early. Back with our next guest in just a second. Great. Good job, right? Okay. <laughs>